Patrick Beverly's return to Staples Center could not have been scripted any better for the Clippers. One night after he helped the Minnesota Timberwolves blow out the rival Lakers, his former team honored him with a video tribute, then held him to five points en route to a 129-102 blowout for its seventh consecutive victory. Losing on the second night of a back-to-back -back was not the way Beverly and his new team wanted to end a four-game road trip, especially considering it was his first game against the Clippers in their arena since he was traded to Memphis in a multiplayer deal for Eric Bledsoe in August. Beverly was dealt to Minnesota just nine days later. With the win, the Clippers, 8-4, clinched the season series with Minnesota, having already won the first two matchups in Minnesota, and made it six victories in a row versus the Timberwolves dating to last season. Paul George averaged 26. Five points in the first two games against Minnesota and he led the Clippers with 23 points and nine rebounds Saturday as six players scored in double figures. Ivica Zubak had 10 points and 12 rebounds and Bledsoe had 14 points and 9 assists. Off the bench, Terrence Mann scored 16 and Isaiah Hardenstein added 12 points, 12 rebounds and 3 blocks as Los Angeles finished with 35 assists. The Clippers led by as many as 31 points and shot 40% from beyond the arc. Point guard Reggie Jackson was the Clippers' most efficient shooter in the prior two games with Minnesota and he had the hot hand again Saturday to the tune of 21 points, including three three-pointers, draining 9 of 16 shots from the field, we're putting things together, we're spacing the floor and we're making the right reads. It's great playing on our home court and having our fans supporting us, 